bleach powder, sand, and house plants. Those are just some of the substances allegedly found as cheap fillers in some herbal supplements. The findings are part of an investigation into herbal supplements by New York's Attorney General. Como Force Michelle Esteban has more on that and advice for consumers. In a good number of cases, there was no organic material in the product. In some cases, there was sand. Nearly 80% of the New York Attorney General's test results found that store brand supplements tested at Walmart, Walgreens, Target, and GNC did not contain what is listed on the label. The report says the store brands of Ginkgo Biloba and St. John's Ward at all four stores failed to test positive for either herb. And a lot of not so good companies use a lot of filler. They might have a little sprinkling of ginkgo biloba in there and a whole lot of filler. Naturopathic Dr. Jen Davey with Bastyr University's Botanical Medicine Department says herbal supplements that are mislabeled can be dangerous for users with allergies. Some supplements tested positive for wheat. Now it's up to a savvy consumer. In the case of Walmart, authorities found its ginkgo biloba, a memory enhancer, contained radish powder, houseplants, and she wheat. Third party tested for Dr. Davy recommends supplement manufacturers that third party test their supplements. Look for it on the label, or Davy says consumers can call a company and request lab certificates of analysis. Downside, they're typically more expensive. And there really isn't a way for a company to be proven. Uh, or to prove that it has this integrity without being third party tested. In a written statement, the FDA told me dietary supplement manufacturers are responsible for marketing a safe and properly labeled product. The FDA would not comment directly on the findings, but did say it takes herbal supplement requirements very seriously. That if you pay a little more for some company that has a great reputation and gives you all the information about their product right there on their label, you're worth it. Michelle Esteban, Como 4 News. Today, GNC said it stands by its products. Walmart said it's reaching out to the suppliers and will take appropriate action. Target said it's committed to providing high quality and safe products. And Walgreens said it's in the process of removing the products.